Sure, well, one of the reasons why I am so passionate about ethics education is I actually experienced an ethical dilemma. Um, here's what happened to me. So I do believe I'm a financial planner because of the uh, incredible wisdom my dad imparted upon me at a young age. While I didn't understand the discipline of personal finance when I was uh, in elementary, middle, and high school, my dad taught me a lot. He taught me how to read Value Line. He showed me the stock he purchased through uh, employee stock purchase plan, and that's how I was able to go to college. Now that my dad nor I borrowed any money. Um, fast forward uh, 20 years, my dad started to become very weak. My dad had a condition called Parkinson's disease. So this is the man that taught me everything about personal finance. My dad traded options on his uh, own personal account, so it's with an online brokerage firm. My dad started to lock himself out of his account. And the first, second time, I helped him reset his password. But by the time it got to be the third time, I had a conversation with my mom and my two sisters, and I determined with my family that it really was not in my best dad's best interest to continue trading stocks. See, my dad wanted me. Hey, Rita, can you just reset my password again? And at that time, I really did face an ethical dilemma. I didn't think it was appropriate. Well, I'm not a clinician. I can tell that my dad really should not be trading stocks. One wrong click and he might click buy instead of sell. So how my family handled this is we agreed that he should not have online trading capabilities, but dad still could log on and see his accounts. Now, while that might seem mean, Rita, why can't you just give your dad what he wants? It was truly in his best interest to protect the client from himself.